We know that wool is a natural fiber and is obtained from animals like sheep, goat, yak, camel, llama and alpaca. You must be wondering why these animals have a thick coat of fur all over their body. These hair trap a lot of air and we know that air is a bad conductor of heat. So this trapped air keep their body warm in cold winters. Sheep has two types of hair, coarse beard hair and soft under hair. Coarse hair is the outer covering of sheep. These are long and rough hair while the soft under hair is found very close to the skin. It is also known as fleece. It provides fiber to make wool. Now let's take a look at how wool is made from fibers. Wool which is commonly available in the market is the sheep wool. For obtaining wool, first of all sheep are raised. Then their hair is cut and then it is processed into wool. Looking after the sheep by providing food, shelter and health care is called rearing of sheep. And the person who look after the sheep is called shepherd. Sheep are herbivore and like to eat grass and leaves. So, shepherd take their herds of sheep for grazing. Apart from grazing the sheep, shepherd also feed them on a mixture of pulses, corn, jawar, oil cake and minerals. The sweater and shawls that we wear in winter is actually made from wool. And this wool is made from sheep hair. Making wool from sheep hair is a long process which involves many steps. First step is called shearing. When sheep develop a thick layer of hair, fleece of the sheep along with a thin layer of skin is removed from the body. This is called shearing. Shearing is done with the help of a shaving machine. Shearing doesn't hurt the sheep because the uppermost layer of the skin is dead. Shearing is done in the hot weather of summer so that sheep can survive without the protective coat of hair and their hair grow again before the onset of cold weather. Second step is called scouring. The fleece of sheep contain lot of dust, dirt, grease and sweat. So these are washed thoroughly in the big tanks. Nowadays scouring is done in big machines. Third step is sorting. Sheep hair has different textures like long, short, fine or coarse. Hairy skin is sent to the factories where hair of different textures are sorted. Hair are kept in different sections and each section has same quality of hair. Fourth, Fourth step, step is, is removing, removing burrs. In your woolen clothes, clothes, sometimes you will see small fluffy ball-like structures called the burrs. Burrs are picked out from the hair. After this, hair are again washed and dried. Now, these are ready to be drawn into fibers. Next step is dyeing. The natural color of sheep hair is white, black or brown. So, the fiber can be dyed in various colors. Next step is rolling into yarn. Now the fibers are straightened, combed and rolled into yarn. Sheep hair is naturally curly. So, these are straightened first. This process is called carding. Carding makes the wool fiber soft and fluffy. Originally, carding used to be done manually by using two metal brushes. Nowadays, machines are used to card a big patch of wool quickly. By the end of carding, wool pieces are lined up into thin and flat pieces. The long fibers are made into wool for making sweaters while the shorter fibers are spun and woven into woolen clothes. Finally, we can conclude all the steps as first of all the sheep hair are sheared, then scoured, sorted, dyed, combed and rolled into wool. Please like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.